Um, and we should mention this wasn't the only milestone advanced cell technology getting clearance today for its test, embryonic stem cells in humans. How, how significant is this? This is very significant. We only have advanced stem cells in one other company, Geron, which are working on embryonic stem cell treatments that are being tested in humans. We've heard so much talk about embryonic stem cells. Now we're finally seeing some being tested in humans. And again, what advanced cell technologies is doing, uh, they've finally gotten it out of animal testing. They're going to test it on just 12 patients to start off with, patients who have a, a form of blindness called macular degeneration, which is the leading form of blindness in people over 60. It's a, a 15 million people in America have it, a very debilitating condition. So the, the hope is that by injecting embryonic stem cells into the eyes, they'll help regrow these eye cells that these people need to be able to see again. And Shannon, just very quickly, and any concerns about uh, issues of using embryonic stem cells? Yeah, well, the, the fear here is that either the body will reject these embryonic stem cells the way sort of they would reject a bone marrow transplant or a new organ or that they could form into tumors that they could get into the body and sort of grow out of control that's been the fear with embryonic stem cells so that's why they're taking a very slow approach they're just going to start with one patient if that looks promising they'll move on hopefully they'll get 12 others and then move into a larger scale testing um, but of mm. course we know there's been a lot of controversy about embryonic stem cells from the ethical standpoint yeah. too so that's an issue here as well all right Shannon Petty. Peace joining us. Shannon, thanks so much. Appreciate Thank it. Turning out to the travel industry.